Hello, Guyan. I wanted to uh, send along this video with a few ideas about games for the children and also to tell you that I have to go in for surgery. I have had a heart attack uh, about oh, maybe four or five weeks ago and so they put in one stint. I have to go back and have a second stint installed uh, this coming Monday. So there's always a possibility that uh, things may not be successful. So I want to send along some ideas just in case uh, this doesn't work out so well. So what I'm looking at is possibly three different things that we could have as, as little games for, for the children. So I'll suggest that we go to the Mindful Coach, themindfulcoach.com. And in the mindfulcoach.com, if we go under about, there's some stress reduction basics. And this is something that we could make into a game with the children. So the idea would be in this process here, we can talk about, you know, the different emotions and, you know, that's, you know, how do you, how do you think you look when you're angry and making funny faces and all that sort of thing. Uh, that can be all, all part of it. Uh, so the first one would be this ability to stop and drop. So we could have them uh, just make a funny face maybe, <laughs> make an angry face or whatever it might be. Probably good to, to, to work with, uh, with anger. And then we just say, okay, uh, let's just stop and drop. So what they would do is they would stop and drop, physically drop down onto the floor and just sit in a, in a posture, an upright posture with their legs crossed. And so now they have stopped and dropped. And then regarding the, the grumpiness, then maybe what we could do is we could uh, invite them to open. So the idea would be they would open up their chest, uh, open up their posture, and then just open up and smile. Just open and smile. So that, this could be done in increments. So we could just have, you know, um, many practices on just stopping and dropping, stopping and dropping. Uh, then we can add stopping and dropping, opening and smiling, opening and smiling. Um, and just, you know, does that, does that change the emotion? Is, is, that, uh, is that helpful? Uh, this can be your little, little game sort of. And then the third one would be um, we have stop and drop, we have open and smile, and then we could just have rest and let go. So then we could just invite them just to lay back, and a shavasana, a posture, and just let go. Just let it all go. No place to go, nothing to do. Just let it all go. So there could be three stages of training and different lengths of intervals in those different uh, stages of training. So that's um, a suggestion. I think it could be fun for them. Oh, I think I'll go and stop and drop because then over time you can say, you know, you don't have to physically stop and drop. You can just do that, um, you know, as you're walking or, you know, as you're doing an activity, just stop and drop and and feel the body, you know, and open open the chest, open the heart, open the mind. So it can evolve into uh, a deeper training later for them. Uh, so another one would be. Uh, for them to have a secret word. So the secret word I'm going to suggest is in. So the secret word is just noticing their in-breath and to give the mind something else to hold on to. So it's called thought substitution. And so the idea would be would be, they would just, as they notice their in-breath, they would just note in. Just note in. And if the mind is really busy, they could just notice in and out. In and out. And so this is something that you can play with if you choose to, to work with it. So the idea is when we are aware that we're breathing in, then we're not so caught up 
and some of the anxiety and stress uh, that is that, that is developing and we're giving the mind a place to to focus just focusing on knowing that we're breathing in so this can be developed into so many different ways but that would be their secret word just in so in and hearing in and feeling in and smiling so the in is an objective word and it takes the subjectiveness away from our anxiety I'm so sad I don't know what I should do you can see those type of thoughts they have a lot of subjectivity in them so this is to substitute that sub subjectivity oftentimes which is not helpful and to have a, a secret word in as a place to to go just in and hearing in and feeling and so you can have them in and forehead in and eyes just feeling the different parts of the body and this is very good for trauma because what we're doing is we're synchronizing the in-breath with different parts of the body and if the child has been traumatized then to avoid the throat chest and tummy and just in and fingers in and toes in and tongue these are safe places for children that have experienced trauma where they can redirect their attention to this their secret space that will keep them safe from overthinking and getting caught up uh, so emotionally so I'll just leave that with you and again uh, I have just a few of the words just for SEO purposes uh, so if you would like other people to find your articles uh, the SEO is very very important and I'm not fully skilled at it maybe you might know somebody who has that functionality that could do some SEO for us that would be wonderful but at any rate I just want to pass along these two ideas uh, playing with a secret word in and then the game that can be a game just develop your own secret word but I would suggest being uh, suggesting to them at the end because before we take on any big activity we we may not realize it but we breathe in to have lots of oxygen in our body and to deal with whatever might be happening so this way we're aware of that so what will happen over time is just this subtle noting will develop into knowing which is a deeper aspect of mindfulness just knowing so that will allow the child to be able to have some self coaching so on the so I'll just go here uh, so we have the grounding stopping and dropping uh, the opening and smiling the smiling is very powerful very helpful and then resting so this could be just laying back resting in a shavasana pose just resting letting go nothing to do nothing to worry about just resting so the other possibility the third one that I had mentioned is to go back and to look at guiding so self-coaching so this could also be a game but what we would be fundamentally doing is we would offering suggestions and this would be a phrase phrase of intention to help to guide the mind so we can give this uh, game um, you know different you know being the boss or um, you know guy um, guiding or some sort of a hero my, my superhero like my, my coach whatever that might be 
then they could have uh, phrases like, may I be safe, may I be happy, may I be well, may I be free, to help to guide the mind. Because we think about 50 to 70,000 thoughts per day, and it's very skillful for us to take and intentionally introduce new healthy thoughts and phrases. So we could just build on, on that, this self-guiding, self-coaching, and again, that could be a third game, uh, the coaching game or the guiding game, whatever um, term might be, might be helpful for the children. So I hope this is helpful, Ron, and uh, I really appreciate the work that you're doing and the benefit that um, potential that it has for helping a lot of children. So take good care and all the blessings of great health and happiness. Bye for now.